the um, changing this um, fan belt, actually it's not a fan belt, it's an alternator belt, is proven to be a bit of a nightmare. This is my um, brand new fluid, um, it's, the, uh, it's the coolant, I've had to let the coolant out. Um, close to impossible to get any access to the alternator or the nuts to loosen it without first. So what I've done, I've, I've moved the, um, the coolant pipe now this one's in the way as well so I'm going to need to go in from above because the alternator's right behind it look you just can't get access to loosen anything the only thing is in my naivety I've realized I assumed I'd just be able to thread the thread the belt over the pulley and stick it around the other pulley and it was a 10 minute job but no um, these two belts for, to the power steering and to the air conditioning have to come off alternator bolt first and then put the other two belts on so this is going to really turn to a big job it's going to take me about six hours i think buggering about in the street uh, there's no way i'm going to get it finished for the weekend to drive it back to brighton it's not going to happen so I'm, i've arranged to borrow my sister's car again she's very kind and let me borrow her car but so yeah i've loosened the i've loosened the alternator tensioner and i'll have to do the same there's a steering pump over here somewhere so literally all of this has got to come off in order to replace the belt um, yeah, there's the, um, just down here, there's the tensioner, Let's just get the focus right, there it is, there's the tensioner right here um, for this for the, uh, for the power steering, so that belt needs to come off. I do have brand new belts, so I'm going to be changing, that belt actually looks quite new, but I bought a brand new one, I don't want any more breakages, and I'm still waiting for all of these, all of these hoses, I've, I've ordered a full set of uh, water hoses, but it's been nearly a week and a half and I'm still waiting, so I'm quite anxious. Um, I might actually just keep my sister's car for a couple of weeks until I've got all of the uh, all of the replacement hoses. It's, it's just too risky. It's too risky to be driving with frail hoses. I know they're frail. Um, I was fairly, you know, I shouldn't have driven it the other day, and I did. So it's my own fault. I got caught out. But uh, yeah, this is turning into a bit of a, a bit of a shitty job, if I'm honest. But um, yeah, so I'm going to have to remove. I'm hoping that we have to take the whole air conditioner. I'm hoping just to be able to push it over. Problem is, without taking out all the radiator cowling and so on, you can't get to the bottom that's at the bottom of the alternator to push the alternator over. So it's quite a fiddle. Um, the other one I'm going to have to do is, um, because I'm not taking out the fan, I'm going to have to thread the, um, this belt. Um, the, uh, that's the steering pump belt. That's going to have to be threaded because it, it look it's stuck behind the um, the fan cowling. I'm going to thread it over the vanes to this fan without breaking the fan. Obviously, I don't particularly want to take all the radiator cowling up. I think I should be able to thread it over, and then turn the fan and turn it. You know, just get it on the other side. I should be able to. Um, I should. I think. Will it will it work? Gosh, will it work? Hmm. Maybe not. What is it? Yeah. Actually, no, I'm not threading it that way. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking aloud here. I won't be threading. I'll have to poke it. I'll have to put the belt on the inside and then pull the belt over. That's what I'll have to do. Yeah, poke, yeah shove it in there. And it's, it's all got to be pulled over to, to allow it to go over this pulley. I don't want to be dismantling the fan, but it, it well, very well might come to that. Oh, this is the joys of not being a mechanic. I'm a ladies hairdresser, actually, and uh, obviously I can uh, try these things, but I'm not an experienced mechanic. So great, it's starting to rain as well. And I'm outside in the street, but um, this is the price you pay for buying a car as sensible as this one. You know, a 1980s 4.2 litre Jag. I should know better, but uh, I don't learn my lesson. I don't learn my lesson. But the, 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 you know, the agonies uh, that I'm suffering here are far outweighed by the glory and the luxury and the sheer pleasure and the thrill of owning such a thing and driving it. Um, I knew what I was getting involved in when I bought it. I knew it was going to bite me in the arse every week. Um, <laughs> but uh, those bites are kind of worth it to me. But yeah, it's starting to rain quite heavy now, so I don't think I'm going to continue tonight. This is not very nice. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to borrow my sister's car for a few days, perhaps as much as a couple of weeks, and get these hoses and belts changed. It's... Um, it's just, uh, it's just too risky to be driving the car without replacing everything. And it, it's simply too much of a job to, to get finished in one evening in the street with no tools. So I'll keep the videos coming and let you know where I get to.